Guardians of the Waves The Crucial Role of CIWS Modern naval warfare is a complex dance of technology and tactics. Missiles streak across the sky, threatening warships with devastating precision. In this deadly ballet, close-in weapon systems, or CIWS, are the last line of defense. These rapid-fire guns intercept and neutralize incoming missiles and aircraft. CIWS are crucial for a warship's defense, reacting within seconds of detection. The effectiveness of a CIWS can mean the difference between a successful defense and catastrophic damage. We will delve into the specifics of two prominent CIWS, the Russian AK-630 and the American Phalanx CIWS. AK-630, the Soviet Sentry Developed in the Soviet Union and entering service in 1976, the AK-630 is a fully automated, radar-controlled naval close-in weapon system. It is a common sight on Soviet-era and Russian warships, as well as on vessels of several other navies. The AK-630 features a six-barreled, 30mm Gatling gun with a fire rate of up to 5,000 rounds per minute. This rate of fire creates a dense wall of projectiles, increasing the probability of a hit. The system uses radar and electro-optical tracking for high accuracy. The AK-630 has a maximum effective range of approximately 4,000 meters, though its optimal range is shorter. While potent, its small caliber rounds may not be as effective against larger, heavily armored targets. Phalanx CIWS, America's Shield at Sea The Phalanx CIWS, nicknamed R2-D2, is a close-in weapon system developed in the United States. First deployed in 1980, it is a ubiquitous sight on U.S. Navy warships and other navies worldwide. At its heart is a 20mm Vulcan Gatling gun, firing up to 4,500 rounds per minute. The Phalanx uses a self-contained radar system to detect, track and engage threats autonomously. This allows it to operate independently of the ship's other systems, providing a vital last line of defense. The Phalanx has an effective range of approximately 1,500 meters, focusing on close-in defense. Both the AK-630 and Phalanx CIWS are highly capable systems, each with strengths and weaknesses. The AK-630 boasts a higher rate of fire and larger caliber rounds, potentially advantageous in certain scenarios. The Phalanx benefits from its sophisticated, fully automated targeting system and proven reliability. Its ability to operate independently makes it highly responsive. The choice between the AK-630 and Phalanx depends on operational requirements and anticipated threats. In saturation attacks, the AK-630's fire rate might offer an advantage, while the Phalanx excels in accuracy and reliability. The Indian Navy operates a diverse fleet, reflecting its strategic interests in the Indian Ocean. Among its defensive systems, the AK-630 CIWS holds a prominent place. India's decision to adopt the AK-630 reflects historical ties with Russia, cost-effectiveness, and suitability for regional threats. The AK-630 serves as a vital component of India's layered air defense network. Integrated into combat management systems, it allows for coordinated engagement of targets. Naval warfare is in constant flux, driven by technological advancements. Traditional gun-based systems like the AK-630 and Phalanx face competition from directed energy weapons and drone-based interceptors. Laser weapons, once science fiction, are becoming a reality, offering near-instantaneous engagement with high precision. High-powered lasers, capable of neutralizing threats, are a top priority for navies. Drones equipped with sensors, AI, and interceptors offer flexible defense against various threats. The future of naval warfare will be shaped by the competition between traditional CIWS, emerging laser technologies, and unmanned systems.